Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to talk you through how I fixed an engine warning light that I was getting on my Land Cruiser Prado. So basically what was happening was at idle I'd be getting an engine warning light but as soon as I moved off after a second or two the engine warning light would go away. So I checked the codes and it was giving me error code 14 which is a, it's a timing issue so it basically throws that error when the ECU detects that the engine is uh, seven degrees out of sync with where it thinks it should be. And if you, if you look up in the, the engine service manual um, as, as to how to diagnose that, it all points to fuel related issues. So I did things like I bled the fuel system to check there's no air getting into it, did all that. Um, I checked the spill control valve I checked all the relays, checked everything was working as it should be. But then I realized that the fuel pump was possibly not timed correctly. Now when I rebuilt the engine, I made dead sure that all the timing gears were aligned to the correct marks. But what I didn't appreciate was that the angle that the timing pump, that the injector pump sits on the timing case um, affects the timing so you, it's, it's installed on slots and the angle of rotation that you, you mount it uh, does have a very small impact on timing. So I had a bit of a brainwave last night while um, reading through some of the forums and I reckon the engine light problem is caused by the angle of the fuel pump being incorrectly set. Now this fuel pump is actually on slots and you can rotate it relative to the uh, timing gear train that um, it runs on. So you can see, well it's actually probably very hard to see. Let me see. Okay, so here we have the mounting flange of the injector pump. And there is actually a line scribed on the side of it that should be um, aligned with this flat surface on the timing case. Now, I did not do this when I assembled it back together, so my line is a good few millimetres higher than this surface, and I reckon that is what's causing the, uh, the timing error code to be thrown. So I'm going to... Um, adjust this by loosening the, the nuts and then rotating the whole assembly around and we'll see if that fixes it. Okay, so I adjusted the angle of the fuel pump slightly uh, just so that that um, timing mark aligned with the timing case and uh, now when we pull to a stop and let it idle we have no engine warning light coming on. So touch wood but this seems to have fixed the problem um, it's kind of annoying that I didn't notice that to begin with because if I would assembled the pump on correctly I wouldn't have had the problem in, in the first place but um, we fixed it nonetheless